So what about the emotional aspects around loss of fertility? Um, what, kind, what are the kind of key things that you come across people having difficulty with um, when they're, they, they find themselves unable to have a family? I think there's a multitude of things. There's actually quite a lot. This is it's another grief. It's another loss that your cancer has caused. And some people may never actually come to terms with that. People often have an idea in their head of, you know, their life plan that they were going to get married, they were going to achieve this in their career, they were going to have two children. Mm -hmm. And that may not happen and they have to readjust yeah. that life plan. But actually at the time they're readjusting their life plan things their friends are having children or people are asking them that awkward question of mm -hmm. oh are you going to have a baby and how do you answer that question how do you deal yeah. with what are really personal and really mm. intrusive questions how do you feel when people are having babies mm. around you with Facebook that you see people's scans up yeah. at 12 weeks when you've just found out that you'll never be able to have a child mm. so a lot around grief and loss and that can come in waves and things can start it um, they often guilt guilt that they're not giving their parents a grandchild or, mm. or guilt that they have um, that they cannot give their partner a child or they they, they cannot um, make their par they cannot make their partner pregnant and actually mm. dealing with that guilt and feeling that they're that they're damaged goods mm. so a multitude of, of things and I think particularly uh, envy and even anger at other people you, they see somebody in the street who's pregnant and smoking or they see somebody who's not dealing you know they read some story in the press about somebody who's let their child die or abuse them and, mm. and that these people could become parents and they couldn't yeah um is, is there any um support networks out there that because it's a very difficult area isn't it it's not something you can go to your gdp and get get support for so what, what advice would you give to people um who are, are, are f having having these um difficulties around fertility and and maybe feeling really low about it and there's not really anyone to discuss it with who where should where should they be guided to i think it's very much peer support i think unless somebody has been there themselves mm. or is there themselves they can't completely understand mm. it and it's about um using groups like shine where you meet people who have mm. a, a similar thing I mean, people talk about going on to general infertility groups, but that's a very different, different it's yeah. a very different thing. And there are, um, for some people, they may not be able to have a child because they have irreversible mm. infertility because of what has happened as part of their treatment. Mm -hmm. So I, it's finding out people who have, who have been there. And, and now with the, the net, there are so many yeah. forums mm. out there. But, and, and speaking to, and, but actually, going for counselling mm -hmm. and often fertility is something that comes up much later it doesn't it doesn't come up at the time mm. it might not even be a priority although it's the priority for some for others it's not the priority at the time and actually 10 years on when you're thinking actually I want to have a family yeah. and another loss of cancer mm -hmm. um, hits you mm -hmm. again that it's this so double trauma part of it is, is recognising it as a loss, loss. And, that, and seeking out you know, a way to sp to gain support for that and, and counselling and things and, and, and re recognising that it's a valid feeling of, of loss because that's that's what it is, it's a bit like grief. Yeah. But it needs to be acknowledged mm -hmm. and that it's, it's not something you can just get over or... Yeah. Uh, and even if you make life changes, which a lot of people do, they say, oh, because I haven't got children, I will do the things that I couldn't do if I had children. Mm. There is always a p piece of them that they feel is is missing yeah, yeah. thank you